Well, if it isn't Mr. Cringe and his g creepy and uh, possibly borderline sexual obsession with cocoa beans. A frightening amount of cocoa beans. A, a very much game slowing amount of cocoa beans. First things first, and I promise I'm not going to make a habit of opening every episode about freaking slime girls. Many of the more questionable types in the comment section, you know, the ones with the anime profile pictures, have been complaining that our girl made of chocolate doesn't appreciate chocolate enough because she's the wrong idea legend. No, I mean, you're right. I can't argue with that. What on earth would she know about fine confectionery products? I hope you're happy. You've done this. This is, this is only your fault. <laughs> visually very strange to watch. I am a little disappointed. Turns out we can't install the venom teeth we bought yesterday into the slime girl. Turns out we can only do mundane things with the slime girl, like installing advanced components into her or beating her over the head with a piece of wood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll do. That's a pretty good consolation prize, I think. I will be the first to admit that giving your slaves highly advanced bionic weaponized body parts is probably a terrible idea. Conversely, that bear has a minigun. So, I mean, we're in a weird place already. I, I don't want to start too esoteric, of course. It's supposed to be a nice down-to-earth, hospitality-based series. We cook food and we turn over profit. So, we're going to do something a bit more sensible now. We're going to replace all the walls with uh, chocolate ice cream. And though the ice cream filled a hole in his wall did not fill the hole in his heart. I mean, it's ice, it's ice cream. So it might put a hole in your heart if you eat enough of it. I'm not a doctor. I don't even know what's going on anymore. <laughs> it's very early, okay? It was very early in the day. Though the ice cream was delicious and tasty, why it be hurting my head so much? <laughs> Additionally, and perhaps sensibly worth mentioning while we're on the subject of me losing my mind, I had to edit a large portion of yesterday's video out uh, because I realized after the fact that the slime girl had giant booba. Because uh, of course she, uh, without a hint of surprise, I'm saying this because of course she does. It's a freaking slime girl mod. And for some reason, she had taken off her clothes. I assume they were damaged or something like that. Uh, and for quite a long time, her portrait at the top bar was j just full on, full on, I'm, I mean, boob. It was boob. It was slime boob. Wow. The most reassuring thing I've heard all week came from a virtual slime girl. Oh! What happened there? Did she just try and fall in love with Mr. Cringe? Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, we've turned away from social media and towards blood and chocolate, which, I mean for me right now are, are indivisible. I won't lie, I did almost just die from laughter. Like, actually die. Uh, I read this thing here as Mint Choco Electric Chair. <laughs> Which is, suffice to say, a little tonally dissonant compared to the rest of the mod. Anyway, the reason I'm looking at all the Mint Choco furniture is because today's goal, the thing that I would like to achieve the most is to get a few guests in not to kind of experience a theme park because, well, I mean, to be honest, we haven't really got anything. We haven't, we haven't got anything at all. Come and see Mr. Cringe's Cocoa Bean Collection. I mean, it could work. I want to try and build a very basic spaceport. Shuttle landing pads, spaceport beacons, etc. So that we can get a bunch of guests in so they'll buy some freaking chocolate from me. A lot of people in the comments yesterday did suggest just, you know, adding a trader mod that gives them more silver or increasing the the frequency of trade caverns. No, 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 no. That that does kind of defeat the point in, in every way. Oh no, I have a mountain of debt. Thank God there are traders that just happen to carry one million silver at all times. This has to be natural. It has to be earned. And there is a lot of economy stuff going on in the background. There's there's literally a supply and demand for chocolate in this mod pack. I don't just want a single trader buying all the chocolate because they don't have a choice. I want everybody to be buying the chocolate. I want them to become the chocolate. The problem is we've already used up all the steel that was on the edge of the mountains, and I'll be honest with you, I don't want to dig it up. I think it looks pretty nice. I think we're going to have to go hard on deep drills, but I also don't... Well, firstly, we don't have the steel for it, which is... um. A slight, a slight issue. If we get fabrication quick enough, we can build as many bloody deep trails as we like. And then the little group of loopers, when they're not cooking, quite frankly, a, a staggering and almost fundamentally impossible amount of chocolate. I mean, genuinely, we can grow cocoa 
uh, 50 times as fast as we can cook the friggin' stuff. So when they're not doing that, which is never, they can be they can be mining. Just just mining all day, every day. We, we also, uh, this is kind of a side project. Uh, this is one of those weird esoteric side projects that I like to do here. You know, those weird esoteric side projects that end up drowning out the main project because they're that interesting. Those ones. You know, like a certain restaurant that killed people, overshadowing the whole drugs trade from a while back. We've got the equipment reinforcer. And I realized uh, fairly early on that we can equip berries and other such goods, rice, you name it, as uh, as weapons. Could we theoretically reinforce a berry so much with other berries that we could we could one shot a centipede with a, with a strawberry? Is that possible? There is something very on brand about the group of loopers weaponizing weaponizing berries like that. Even the snozberries taste like snozberries, he says, as he dings it right through the middle of a centipede like a gorse rifle. I mean, it would ju it would just be incredible. <laughs> a what? Sorry? A cannibal. Is this a cannibal slime girl? Oh, Lord above. Uh, I mean... <sighs> I did say I want them to be morally reprehensible. A slime girl made of human food that eats people is so... Poetic. Wow, she really is, huh? Thick-skinned cannibal. Apple pie loves the taste of human meat. I, 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 I can't ignore her. And let me just reiterate here. I, I hate slime girls. I hate the very notion. I hate the very concept. However, Mr. Cringe and his entourage of, uh, of demonic cannibal ice cream chocolate girls is is too good. Oh, exotic goods trader. Is chocolate an exotic good? I guess we'll find out. I've made production about as efficient as I possibly can. I've built a shelf. It doesn't get much better than that, okay? They want to buy it. How, how much How much do you want to buy? How much do you want to buy? I can fulfill a small order of, oh, I don't know, 3,500? Okay, what do, they, what do we want in exchange? We definitely want those. If we can scrounge up a little bit still, we could just build the uh, Grand Penetrating Scanner now. We wouldn't even need the fabrication bench at this point. Well, I mean, obviously we need a fabrication bench. <laughs> Field hand. Oh, that could be good. Uh, drill arm for the group of loopers. Man, I love the idea of them being like manky, little vile group of loopers. You know, hooks for hand, missing an eye, scars down one side of the face. Pandora's box. Well, I mean, I'll take it. Yeah, I mean, why not? I think that's more or less everything we want. Actually, we'll take the neutral aiming. Uh, other than... Oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I mean, that is certainly a method of making milk chocolate. <laughs> what I'm about to do is called a pro gamer move. Yeah, I think that's, uh... I think that'd probably probably do it. Yep. <laughs> and I mean, I'm quite happy to go full into milk chocolate production. I, I mean, of course, who wouldn't prefer milk chocolate, delicious, smooth, creamy flavor of milk chocolate compared to regular plain old... I mean, they're just cocoa beans baked into a bar at this point. I think I'm all right to uh, do something like that. Open Pandora's box, I. Eh? Yeah, no, I think I've just done that, actually, pal. I think we're already way ahead. You know what? Why not? Contribute. Let's contribute to it a little bit. Mr. Cringe giveth. Mr. Cringe taketh away. That's not taketh away at all. Uh, oh, green tea. That was a complete waste of my money. Thank you. It's not as if we're in a catastrophic amount of debt. On the plus side, though, it is steel. <laughs> oh, that explains it. I'm sat here trying to figure out where we've got a chocolate peeler or, a, or, a, or an auto pistol or clown horns from. It's the bloody war bonds. They send random uh, items associated with that faction. We've also got a balloon sword. I wanted to get our people equipped slightly better than having, you know, berries or an Iqua. As much as I do appreciate the uh, rough and ready group of loopers with the knives, I, I think it needs to be a bit more thematically appropriate. I also dipped into the Patreon list to rename those very same group of loopers. Kind of wish I hadn't, given that we've got Dr. Hunk and Slutty Butt Flats. <laughs> Oh, God. Um. 
Hello? Was that the... I mean, I was about to ask, was that the clown horns? My god, it's gigantic. That might be the best thing I've ever heard. Uh, and this is just a ranged weapon, right? Oh, it certainly is. Uh, what does it do? <laughs> is this a fever dream? <laughs> is this a fever dream? Milky Group Looper unleashes horny barrage. I mean... I cannot make this shit up anymore. Hello, buddy securities. Can I interest you in a staggering amount of chocolate? What do they have for sale? Do, well, I mean, of course I'll sell it. That's that's the whole point of this company. Well, we're going to sell it regardless, but let's see what they've got. Uh, advanced components, absolutely. Give me your regular components too. Give me a plasteel. I'll take the lot. Give me your jump packs. That'll be handy. Whoa, 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 whoa. A blueprint containing technological secrets. Studying it will probably call full understanding. Give them research projects. But free multi analyzers. Oh, okay, that's pretty big. Um, treasure chest, I'll take that too. I love all the war bonds. <laughs> we can buy just a shitload of war bonds, but I think I'm okay. Other than that, oh, you know, I'll take the gold too. I shall take the telescope and the television and also the computer. Oh, don't worry. We can afford it. And we've got another 3,000 silver coming in as well there. And the best part is that wasn't all of our chocolate too. Though we don't have any steel. So I am having to reinstall the trade beacon. I should have bought the other furniture to take it apart. Yeah, you know what? I think I might actually do that. How much do we need again? Where is it? Uh, Grand Penetrating Scanner. There we go. 150. We've got our steel old computer and a bonsai pot to take apart. That should be enough, right? What? Oi! Put that back down, you little shit. I genuinely thought it dismantled into nothing then. Right, let's try that again. Deconstruct. Come on, 150. 40. That's a good start. Come on. Deconstruct. 10. We're only a hundred left to go. God damn it. Okay, open the treasure box. Here, here, here. Sprinkles, I'll let you open it. Consider it my gift to you, my friend, for being such an upstanding citizen. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I see. That's how they work. So he still has to sit there and study it as if he were doing the research. I don't know why he went to the poker table rather than, oh, I don't know, the research bench to do that, but that's okay. I mean, I mean, how am I even supposed to interpret that sentence right there? It gets even worse when the closest person is Bludus with the, with the horn. Oh my god, the original name was Hornet. <laughs> Get him! We've got to see this thing in action. Wow, it's just terrible. <laughs> Get it. Please kill that fox. For God's sake. It's just a friggin' fox. Kill it. I've never seen such bullshit before. What the hell are we going to do when the next raid turns up? <laughs> ah, of course. Build multi-analyzers. Ah, except for the fact that I can't because I don't have any friggin' steel still. Oh my God, a steel work site. 256 steel, is that it? How long will it take to get there? 3.1 days right through the mountains. I'll be honest, I'm, I'm feeling like I don't have a choice right now. Groupers, if we win this fight, we get all the resources we could ever need, my friends. No pressure. <laughs> oh, look there. Hello. This was one of the, um, you know, more sensible ways we could have got some milk into the colony. I, I say sensible, I'm well aware it's a it's a milky rat. In fact, look, there's more milky rats there. A lot, a lot of milk. Oh, I mean, if that doesn't scream delicious to you, I don't know what, what possibly could. Mmm, flavor. <laughs> Just take a straw and pierce its back like a bubble tea. Hello? We're here for your steel. Quick, quick, quick get, behind, get behind this cover. Get behind this cover. Ah! Oh, slime girl, run. Oh, poor sweet slutty. Are you okay? That was some, that was some bad damage. That was some bad damage right there. Oh, God. Dr. Hunk has a permanent, permanent half blindness in his left eye from where he was shot with a dark gun. I assume by sprinkles when he captured him. That's messed up. Dr. Hunk, literally almost blind. Come on, get out of here, mini turret. I was kind of hoping we could take take that apart. Maybe even uninstall it, take it with us, but that's okay. Oh, fucking hell, Dr. Hunk. Thank you. Also down. Wow, they're not very durable, are they? Who would have thought they wouldn't have made the best army going? Well, hopefully now we'll be able to build this bloody spaceport now that we have the resource to do so. Oh, we can't carry it all. Oh, even with the polar bear. I mean... Two of our people are down. That's a bit more understandable. Give me that auto pistol. Oh, I kind of want to take the flintlock as well. We need any range weapons we can get at this point. How, how much do I have to loot behind? Oh, that's, that's, that's fine. That's absolutely okay. If I hadn't bought 100 chocolate, maybe that would have also 
Maybe that also would have worked quite well for us. Come on, apple pie, you horrifying cannibal. Surely this is it. What's taking so bloody long? Hey, there we go. Huge, massive. Oh, it's, it's a gigantic occasion. The entire ideology now kicks in. We can make our people have all of those specialized roles. First things first, our CEO, Mr. Cringe himself, obviously. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's bizarre. I, I, I still think Hedonist was the right choice. We have 100,000 chocolate bars in the freezer. I, I think I think it's acceptable. And then, who do we make COO? That's a hard one. That's a, that's a hard choice. So we've also got HR, head architect, and factory manager. You know what I think? And this is this is a as a big moment. This is a big moment for Grupa Lupa society as a whole thing. I think sprinkles. I think sprinkles. We bring him on as a full-time employee. 27.3 resistance. Sprinkles, I've given you a promotion. Exotic goods trader of Discordia. Hello, my friends. Welcome, welcome. I assume you're here for the chocolate. Because <laughs> I haven't got fucking anything else to sell. Uh, they're not. They are not here for for the chocolate. It's crap. It's all crap. You know what? Give me the advanced components. Four of them. Oh, well. I'll take that back. Thank you. You're very skilled. Um, Give me... Sentry Guns Blueprint. You may have just saved the colony. Give me that bloody chest, too. We might have some steel in there. Say what you like about Mr. Cringe, but he's not a gambling man. This is a calculated risk. You have to do that in the world of business. 58 Hyperweave. Oh, shit. What about this one? What about this one? Show me what you've got. This is a calculated risk, remember. Oh. Oh. Big if true. Our first mechanoid component. Sapphire Small Sculpture. That's quite nice. And a Venom Talon. Ah, what a great day to be my good friend Sprinkles. Ah. Uh. <laughs> ah. Turns out that Muffalo may have gone mad. I will be honest with you, Muffalo. I I kind of know how you feel right now, pal. I'm 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 leaning that way myself. Sorry, can someone help blue us? He's got to try and fight off a Muffalo with a clown horn. <laughs> Cast down your slave strap, little sprinkles. You're a free man? Free grouper? I mean, cast down your slave strap, but also pick up your dart gun again, because we've got a raid. There's the moderators, everybody. Hello. What are we up against? Oh, is that it? Wait, what? I mean, they've got way more armor than we've got in the entire colony. Why? <laughs> Why, honestly? Was that really necessary? Was that... Was that the tactical player you needed? The light that on fire just causing me a... Oh, dear. A significant frighten. How are you able to throw both smoke and regular grenades simultaneously? That doesn't seem fair. Those are not just smoke grenades, though, are they? Those are clearly just two regular grenades. You've thrown your gun on the floor in a panic. And now it's been destroyed. Slutty, absolute moron. Are you, are you people are idiots? Oh, I don't like that clown horn. Oh, I really don't like that clown horn. <laughs> Do you have a replacement gun for Slutty? We got a flintlock. Oh, I mean, it's not the best, but it's better than nothing, I suppose. Now back to the important matters at hand. Sprinkles? We could make him COO, but I think creme brulee is more suitable for that. Factory manager makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I mean, HR for Sprinkles. <laughs> I mean, it's just too perfect, isn't it? Truly, we live in the darkest timeline. It, it doesn't get any weirder than this. Creme brulee for chief operations officer. There you go. Now, that is based on social. She's, I mean, 6.32 social isn't great. She's got passion for it. We can't make Mr. Cringe anything but the CEO. And then we have a role for factory manager and head architect. But, I mean, can we give either of those to apple pie? Not really. Doesn't really work. No, 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 no. This this is all wrong. Alexian gas is not here to be used as a fuel. If I needed to fuel the base, I would just burn some of the delicious chocolate in a chocolate reactor, which I would build if I need friggin' steel. No, 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 no. What we have the gas for is for these lovely gas vents. A wall-mounted vent capable of releasing toxic compounds of Alexian gas into the targeted area. Oh, that seems very, very on brand for a sinister theme park. I suppose sinister, depending on your perspective. 
for the guests, of course. They're never going to know this is happening. But behind the scenes, I, I feel like I need to build a kind of multi-layered entrance. I, I was just going to use this. Have some portcullises. The portcullis we can attach to uh, levers. Uh, we, we can attach them to switches. Close it in. Vent the gas. Everybody's happy. Except for the people who are dead. Do we have any gas nearby? Alexium pump. Uh... No? Does it glow if you can see it? Oh. No, no, it doesn't. Okay, okay. That's worth remembering. Uh, where, where's another one? Have I got one that's a bit more... Oh, God, Dr. Hunk. That's the only one on the map. It doesn't matter. It just means we've got to spend more steel, you know, actually getting over there. Uh, Timberwolf. Timberwolf, right? Yeah, sorry. Let's, um... <laughs> let's address that before we carry on. Ah! Oh, my God! You murderer! I mean, it was kill or be killed, so I let him off, but my God. That was skillful. Look at that. Can't read. Technology is too advanced. The sentry gun blueprint. Uh, simultaneously, we've also got available research for uh, a neural supercharger. <laughs> Priorities are all over the place here. I wanted sentry guns to put in the Oompa Loompa. Ah, oh, shit. That's it. Oh, that's a copyright. To, uh, I'm done for. I wanted sentry guns to put in the Grouper Loopa house so that we could, you know, gun them down. Oh my god, is that another cocoa harvest? My god. What are we up to now? 112,000. We've been making chocolate all day. Oh, that crow's stealing my chocolate. Oh, it's our crow? What? Yeah, we've got 9,000 bars of chocolate, and we've still ended up with more cocoa than where we started. I know I said I was going to build the hotel. Firstly, we haven't got any steel, so it would be a very basic hotel. Secondly, we ran out of mint. Uh, we need a lot more mint than I anticipated, so I think what I'm actually going to do is say goodbye strawberries. Oh, thank God. <laughs> we can play the game now. Spoonie, you legend. Oh, for fuck's sake, Spoonie. You couldn't have got it in the worst place. You absolute moron, Grupa Looper. Don't let me catch you doing that again. Oh, my God. Kremble is disarmed. No, 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 no. We don't want to cause him, don't want to cause him damage. I know it doesn't mean disarm us in the sense that... I leave her. I have no authority here. No authority, Jackie Weaver. All falling apart. Have you got any steel? Hello? Have you got any steel? Oh, there you go. Well, it's not that much, but it'll do. I'm, I'm going to sell them some cocoa beans. I'm, I'm gotta, I've got to get rid of some of it. This is ridiculous. We're just absolutely destroying our profit margins, but what choice have we got? Oh, look at little sprinkles go. This hotel is going to be phenomenal. And I think I've done everything I want to do with the little looper building as well. Left a lot of room here and there for turrets. We'll get some opposite the building as well. You know, try and, try and keep them nice and suppressed. Uh, inspirational. What a fantastic non-copyrighted hotel shape that is, huh? This is going to be incredible. I should probably see what this... Oh. <laughs> it's cats. It's cats. We're going to have cats fighting group of loopers. Are you not Laffy? Get in there with your balloon sword. You're going to stab me a cat. Oh, we've got some of those milky rats here. Oh my god, please send help. <laughs> <laughs> They're so strong! These cats are unbelievable! Uh, I mean, it's more the fact that these group of loopers are absolutely shocking in combat. Laffy! Laffy, bring the sword, Laffy! Fuck him up, Laffy! Yes! Look at him go! Oh my god, we got an alpaca to deal with as well? Shocking. Absolutely unbelievable behavior. Are you guys okay? No, they are really not. Oh, no, 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 no. There seems to be a misunderstanding. I don't need this worthless diamond, Spoonie, in a worthless place. I need frigging steel, Spoonie. We haven't even paid back the steel that we built the bloody penetrating scanner with in the first place. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Bolt goods trader. Give me some steel, for God's sake. There you go. 500, 520 isn't massive, but it, it, it's a start. It's a start. We're going to pay for everything we need to build this shuttle port in in chocolate and i and i mean it couldn't be any more perfect right you know what keep the change keep the change my friend it's yours i got plenty more where that came from so hotel is going here it's just going to be a hotel a few bedrooms premium bedrooms that we'll charge a fortune for and then in the middle will be a big chocolate dining table with all the desserts they could ever want i have been inspired to try some bizarre recipes for desserts because it turns out they accept any condiments so we could for example make our ketchup or mayo dessert which is very very horrible very american 659,000. my god uh so that's gonna be the hotel area i think then what we'll do then is is what, what i had before right was a big area cordoned off for the shuttle bay 
I think we'll just have something like that instead. Within within that circle. I was gonna go hexagonal, but you know what? Let's, let's have a very clear boundary line. Spoonie, my man, this hotel is far behind schedule. If this is not somewhere I can get to easily, my friend, you are... I I'm taking this head off your shoulders. I've decided. It's about time we had an execution. A lump of buried steel using the ground penetrating scanner. Ooh. Ooh. You know what? I will let him off. I'll, I'll let him off. He, he lives another day. That's a that's an okay place for it. Why can't I place it there? Oh, it's blocked by the tree. Uh, yeah. No, fantastic. I, ca I can't complain. Sprinkles, the guests are gonna love it, my friend. That is a chocolate hotel with a chocolate floor and chocolate beds <laughs> all, all over the top. I, I mean, I haven't got anything else to build it out with. I haven't got any steel. And I mean, it's all equally as flammable as wood. And, you know, it's nice and on brand. I want to build next, uh, when we get the resources to do it. I want a big old table in the middle here. Maybe like a big table that goes around the room. And then we have just a shitload of chairs. A load of, uh, a load of refrigerators. We could even turn this into the hospitality restaurant here. Let's throw down one of these mint choco benches as well. See what we get out of there fast. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just a whole bunch more confectionery products. That's okay. That That is absolutely fine by me. In fact, make mint chocolate blocks times 20. Is that faster than using these? Oh no. How much time have I wasted? Oh, my my life. My mortal life. Oh, I guess we'll get this in the kitchen. What the hell is a pink fall in love cookie? Oh no. I love that amid all this cutesy slime crap is uh, menthol smoke leaf joints. Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay, we've got the drill set up. Who is good at drilling? Bludus, congratulations, my friend. You are now dedicated driller. Let's get rid of this crap. What else are you doing? Taming and handling the polar bears. I think you'll be all right. I think we'll probably get plenty of time. Ah, oh, long last. <laughs> Actual steel coming into the colony is so good. Brilliant. Brilliant. You didn't get any at all, but that's all right. It'll be slow going, but at least it's consistent now. When we've got that, we can invest massively into the world's biggest and greatest spaceport. Then tomorrow, we might be able to actually set up a shop and start selling this crap. We've got the hotel. We could take guests now, right? All, all you have to do is flip it over to, say, four guests, and then we set the price of the beds. I think they probably pay a good... I think they pay 50 silver. We'll see when the guests come in, see if they, they complain about it being too expensive or too cheap, and we can adjust the price based on that. It's how good the room quality is, right? Uh, actually, what do they think of that? Uh, what's the room like? Uh, somewhat impressive. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Could do with some decorations, could do with some slightly better furniture, and you know, kind of that type of thing. And at least trade caravans can come in and use that, and they can buy our stuff too if I set up a, uh, if I set up a buying zone now. But the shuttle port, the space port, and the shuttle landing pads, that's where things are gonna be. Well, that was a trade caravan immediately then. That's where things are really gonna pop off. Then we're gonna go from selling, you know, chocolate bars here and there, however much these traders can afford to any guests coming through the door being able to buy as much as they can oh i mean as much as they can right as much as they can afford do mechanical components is massive when we can automate this as well it's just gonna be mountains and mountains of silver it's gonna be a well-oiled machine and then when that machine is well oiled we can oil up another machine a torture machine do we have any torture machines <laughs> although i did think we had an electric chair very briefly and who knows maybe one day we'll pay off this debt to the mafia not going to be today. Uh, we've had the ability to cream pie from a distance all this time. And we haven't done anything about it. It doesn't seem very. It doesn't seem very appropriate. Of course, we've got to give it to the slime girl. Of course, we do. Very problematic. A very much terms of service violation waiting to happen. Creme brulee, more like creme pie. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, sorry, what's in your head? What, what is that? And this just fires off like like comical clown I, I mean cream pies obviously that word has different kind of yeah I mean oh shit oh no my highly flammable chocolate walls okay well we've learned a valuable lesson here is that firing oil ever it fires tar oh shit well that could have been a disaster <laughs> <laughs> Valuable lesson, learn early. And the final thing I want to check here for today is how much cocoa have we ended up? I, I assume we're far beyond 100,000 still. Uh, we're not. We've actually we've actually lowered the amount of cocoa. To be fair, I did build an entire hotel out of chocolate. You kind of assume that that would put a dent in the cocoa pile. Holy crap, really? 
I'm a little bit surprised. Things are a little more efficient now that we've actually got cocoa beans stored on the shelves. That's, of course, when they're stood there, they're just able to grab it, make the chocolate, throw that on the floor, rinse and repeat forever. It's, it's a lot faster now. Again, imagine when we've got that factory. Then we won't have to, have to worry about crap like this. And sure, it wasn't the goal I originally set out to do by getting that shuttle port and all the guests in, but still as a bit of a pen in my ass. And you know what? I'm happy with what we've done regardless. We've got ourselves a chocolate hotel. The Umpa Lumpa room is finished. The base looks so much nicer. We've got ways to actually get resources. And we've got an extra slime girl. Isn't that a great day? <laughs> this episode has been a fever dream. And I, I can't wait to lie down. Thank you to the executive producer tiers over at Patreon for allowing this particular episode to exist for better or worse. Thank you to Felpi, Exodia, Ciala, Narfulf, to Salaroth. Chris, Naughty Pickers, Jackal, 31 Bravo, Sabat, Bigsby, or Kansas, Moira, German Hammer, Out of All Context, Atomno Unconquered, Rimney, <laughs> Rimney Gently, Hecadim, and Night Rouge for their support. The executive producer is over on Patreon. Thank you for making this series possible. Uh, hopefully you get some delicious group of loopers named after you as time goes by. Thank you as well to Wide Riot, Abacus, Kate, Mr. Meeseeks, Bilbo Fraggins, Kippos, Rave Pirate, Sam the Central Sapphist, Aragon Awesome, Blood for the Blood God, Kuaka Arkava, Dr. Hunk, Sink9, Chicken Robo, Vegan Slayer, and James as well. See you tomorrow.